This week, make a commitment with me to positive words coming forth out of your mouth. You make a commitment to positive speech. Whenever you talk, it's going to be like a ray of sunshine that will uplift others. You never talk about or dwell in mind on the negative. You let your light shine, and you do it this week through your sentences and the words contained therein. It has been said, if you are to be self-controlled in your speech, you must be self-controlled in your thinking. This week, I want you to think before you talk. And when you're next to the water cooler at work and there's a lot of negative chatter, you lift yourself above that or lift yourself away from it. You don't take part in that this week. You make a commitment to God to speak in positive ways. Matthew 12, verse 35 says, A good person produces good deeds. And it goes on. And words season after season. A good person produces good words that come out of your mouth. Matthew 7.12 instructs us, In everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Now this is God's golden rule. And you've heard a lot about the golden rule. I ask you to use it this week in your speech about others and about situations. You observe the golden rule in everything, and it includes what we say this week. We must be careful to speak words of encouragement. We must be careful to speak only words of hope and truth to all who cross our path. Now, you are a Christian, but people only know you through the things that come out of your mouth, the actions of your heart. So, if they learn from your mouth first, I ask you to use your mouth in Christian ways. Now, sometimes we feel uplifted and secure, and when we do, it is so easy to speak kind words and uplifting words. But let's face it, on daily life, in the hours contained therein, uh, there are times when we may be weary, and therefore become discouraged or stressed, and we can barely inside of us summon up the energy to uplift ourselves, much less anyone else. But God's commandment is very clear on this. We must observe the golden rule in everything, in everything, including the words that come out of our mouth. So today and this week, think about words you speak before you speak them. And the tone also. You can say something, but the tone might be slightly negative, and it changes the whole meaning. Well, today, you decide to begin anew by speaking positive. You produce only good deeds, and you also produce good words as well. I pray with you that you have a power coming out of your mouth that blesses, a power that comes out of your mouth that uplifts. And as it comes through you to others, it will do the same for you. It will change your day, and if you make it a habit, it will change your life.